Hey everyone, hope you're doing fantastic. So in this book, which delves into the fantastic biography of Thomas Jefferson, founding father, one of them, of America, there is an interesting section here on Thomas Paine. So in 1787, it's midsummer, the author notes, Thomas Paine heads to Paris, France, and meets up with Jefferson. So what's interesting, though, is that Thomas Paine was the son of a corset maker. I love it when you hear about how Benjamin Franklin was the son of a candle maker and a soap maker who also made tallow soaps and tallow candles. I really love hearing about the professions of these magnificent figures of history and how they had these very uh, industrial, almost type of jobs when it came to crafting. Right? I don't mean industry as in like 1800s working on a railroad. I just mean like they were in retail. They were just doing it themselves. They had their own small business. They were very independent. And corsets are what those ladies wear to squeeze to make them not look as fat. And then it like makes them have a weird shape. It can kind of damage their organs if they wear it too much. But it was popular at that time in, in Paris, France to wear that to make you look skinnier than what you were. <laughs> And to restrict your breathing. <laughs> right? So, that's his dad. And Payne was born in a place called Thetford, which was a town in Norfolk, England. And he was born, Thomas Payne, in 1737. So, he's from England. And what's really cool is that his dad was a Quaker. And the Quakers were very calm, really cool to read about. I learned a little bit about the Quakers, but his mom was an Angelican. So, and she was a lawyer. His his mom was an angelical lawyer, right? Well, so she he has a dad who's a Quaker and a mom who's an angelic. Talk about a dynamic household. And then it says that uh, Thomas Paine was baptized in the Church of England, but that he did sometimes go to Quaker meetings. Makes sense. His dad was a Quaker. But I thought like, wow. And then the author gives us some of his books. So one of his books was Common Sense, the other one was The Rights of Man, the other one was The Age of Reason. And I thought that was pretty cool, we're going to have to check those out, read them. So Thomas Paine, his parents were diversely religious, and he wrote three great works that were very important for American history. Common Sense apparently was very popular in 1776, so that's pretty intense, but you never know what you're going to read in this book. So again, another dynamic friend of Jefferson. Jefferson has quite a dynamic inner circle and even acquaintances. He's really making friends and relationships with all kinds of people. So Thomas Paine, add it to the list.